Servus Freunde, my name is Jimmy Cage and this is Mia Madre. Poi non so nemmeno se mamma ha capito come sta. Mia Madre, My Mother, is the newest movie of Italian director Nanni Moretti. Moretti is not only a director, but he often writes the screenplay himself and sometimes even stars in the lead. In Mia Madre he plays a secondary, but nonetheless very important part. He is the brother of Margarita, a filmmaker herself, who is just in the middle of filming her new project. Yes, Mia Madre is one of these movies that addresses filmmaking itself, but it's not its main focus. Because its main topic are human interactions, family and the loss of a beloved one. Because Mia Madre, as the title suggests, deals with the inescapable dying of Margarita's mother. Purtroppo i valori sono peggiorati. Come stai? Un po' meglio. Mamma sta morendo. Sei stanca? E lavori troppo. This movie really touched me. It's emotional, but it never felt forced like in so many made in Hollywood tear jerkers. It's more nuanced and also a little bit more sincere in its way of handling topics like aging, death and the loss of control. Margarita, played by Margarita Bay, has to deal with the inevitable but still unacceptable loss of her mother. She has a job where she has to have control, where she is saying what happens on set, where constant decisions are being made. Now. She can't do anything but just stand by or her mother is dying. The movie seems to be very personal because Moretti himself, being a filmmaker, like his protagonist, had lost his mother just a few years ago. Maybe that's one of the reasons why his handling of the story feels so sincere. What I also liked about the movie were its few surreal moments, because first they are not that obvious to make out. Sometimes a scene starts like any other and only as it progresses you understand that this can be real and must be a memory or a dream. I thought that to be an interesting way of showing how Margarita is coping with her existential crisis. Another and also way more focal aspect of the movie is John Turturro. He plays the big and famous American star that should play in Margarita's new movie, but is actually a total nutcase. I'm gonna go back, back to reality! At least he seems that way, because later he gets more human as well. But most of the time he appeared to be very comic relief-like. And I can understand when some people have a problem with such a character in an otherwise very sad and touching movie. But to me it works and here's why. By the addition of an eccentric character like this, to me it becomes even more like real life and it adds to the situation Margarita is in. I think everybody might know this from their personal experiences. When you're dealing with a very tough and sad thing in your life, it doesn't mean that all of a sudden you live in that isolated bubble. Because the daily life around you still is happening and you have to find a way to cope with it. There are stressful things, there are funny things and you're just in the middle of that. Given Totoro's performance is comical and also a little bit exaggerated, but it didn't take away from the serious subject matters. On the contrary, the different tones worked fine for me. That's why I would recommend Mia Madre to everybody who is curious about recent foreign cinema or just interested in a heartfelt movie that deals with topics all of us has to deal with at some point in our lives. Moretti blends drama and comedy very well, gives a great performance as Margarita's brother and tells a very personal but at the same time also very relatable story. Please tell me in the comments below if you know any movies from Nanni Moretti and if you are going to see Mia Madre. And if you did, please tell me what you think about the movie. Did you like it? Didn't you like it? And also very important, what's with the character of John Turturro? Was he okay? Was he too annoying? Please tell me. And I hope to see you guys in my next movie review.